So I was doing some checking on the ring. Hold on, Sheldon, is there ketchup on that table? Yes, there is. But here's a fun fact. Ketchup started out as a general term for sauce, typically made of uh, mushrooms or fish brine with herbs and spices. Some popular early main ingredients included blueberry, anchovy, oyster, kidney bean, and grape. No, that's okay, I'll get it. Listen, I was looking at the ring, and it, it seemed a little weird, you know, no copyright notice on it. So I took it down to this buddy of mine who deals with Shall we say the seedy underbelly of the collectibles world? Seedy underbelly? You know, your black market phasers, your screen worn Lieutenant Uhura panties, that kind of stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> Who's this mysterious buddy you suddenly have? Just a guy. I know a guy. Is it Eddie Crispo? No, I can't tell you who it is. Stop asking. Who else could it be? It has to be Eddie Crispo. I know lots of dangerous people, okay? Name one Eddie Crispo. <laughs> Anyway, he said, this isn't a replica. It's the real deal. If you're suggesting that that is the actual ring of power forged by Sauron in Mount Doom, I look at you with an expression of exhaustion and ever so slight amusement. <laughs> He's not saying it's a magic ring. You're not, are you? <laughs> no, but it's close. Look at the markings inside. Those are production markings. Nine rings were made for use in the Lord of the Rings movies. Three were given to members of the cast. The rest were destroyed. Except one. One was stolen. Gentlemen, this is the one ring. Mine. No, it is not yours. We all went in on the box together. But yes, but I found it in the box, and the laws of maritime salvage clearly state that the finder of a sunken treasure is the owner of the treasure. How is this maritime salvage? Other than the lack of water, how is it not? Wait, wait, shut up, stop being crazy for a second. How much is something like this worth? It's tough to say, since it's hot, but on the underground market, my guy figures... Your guy, Eddie Crispo? Yes. <laughs> Figures 10, maybe 15,000. Okay, that's a lot of money. The wise thing to do is invest it in something practical, like a jet ski. <laughs> Why do you want a jet ski? All the wealthy and beautiful people in movies ride jet skis. That can't just be a coincidence. <laughs> we can't sell it. We have to keep it and love it and polish it and only take it out occasionally when we go to the park and reenact our favorite scenes from the movies. <laughs> It's sad how great that sounds. <laughs> Guys, it's stolen. It should go back to Peter Jackson. He made the movies that belongs to him. Fine, he can have it back, as long as he promises to make me a hobbit in his next movie. <laughs> but there are no Jewish hobbits. Clearly, you've never been to my house for dinner on Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> we are not blackmailing Peter J All right, where's the ring? You mean my ring? <laughs> What are you doing? The ring was unguarded. It was just sitting on the table. Anyone could have taken it. Proof? I did. Give me that. Look, let's be reasonable. We all want to do different things with the ring, but your ideas are stupid, and I want a jet ski. <laughs> I found it. The ring is mine. I don't understand why in this group I never get my way. <laughs> you always get your way. I'll stipulate to that if you give me the ring. <laughs> hey, guys. Enjoying your food that I actually brought you instead of promising food but bringing you a box of random crap? Uh, yeah, it's delicious. The sarcasm's a little stale, though. <laughs> uh, hey, how about this? Until we figure out what to do with the ring, Penny holds on to it. What ring? This ring. Looking for something? <laughs> Would you hold on to this for a couple of days? Why? It's a prop from a movie. We're kind of fighting over it. Okay, just to be clear, the first piece of jewelry my boyfriend gives me is a prop from a movie and I don't even get to keep it? If you had gone out with me three years ago, by now you'd have my great Aunt Ida's brooch that she smuggled out of occupied Belgium in a cat. How am I looking now? 